The first poet I fell in love with was a poem. I actually fell in love with a poem, not a poet. But my grandfather had died when I was eight years old. And I, I was very close to him, and he had written poetry. And I went down to the basement and I found an anthology of poems without the names. And there was a poem there, and I somehow magically thought that my grandfather had written it. I loved it. It was called Spellbound. When I was in high school, it turned out I discovered it was by Charlotte Bronte. Emily Bronte, actually. It was by Emily Bronte. But I, um, I thought it was by my grandfather. <laughs> Do you mean literally, or um, as on reading, probably Dylan Thomas? Um, First, uh, Mother Goose. That's what we always forget about poetry is that we fall in love with it as a child, and we're only taught not to love it <laughs> as we grow older. And then some of us find it again. It was something like a hundred great American poets, or something like that. But this was back in the forties, when I was about nine years old, and. It had uh, a poet, I don't think anybody, not many people might remember, who wrote The Highwayman, and his name is Alfred Norris, good for you. <laughs> and that became my favorite poem, along with, um, along with uh, Edgar Allan Poe. You know, I loved that bumpity bumpity bump, and I, I still have a weakness for it, although I don't do it myself. But I loved those guys when I was here. The poet that I didn't know that I was falling in love with was when I was in probably third or fourth grade, and I got a third or fourth grader's biography of Gerda Stein, and they had in the emblem, a rose is a rose is a rose, and it was a story about Gerda Stein, and I know that that mattered. And then the poet that I fell in love with was John Ashbery. Many things, wet casements, uh, convex mirror, but three poems, oh, flowchart. I, I remember reading flowchart one weekend when I was just becoming a poet. And, and knowing what to do. Uh, the first poet I fell in love with uh, was uh, my mother, and then, <laughs> and then uh, Allen Ginsberg, and Pablo Neruda. Paul Silla. In high school, somebody read him, and it totally changed my life. I heard a poem, hair stood up on my neck, and I knew that there was a use of language that had nothing to do with what we speak, and nothing to do with literature. That was poetry. Literally, or their work? Um, I don't know if I can answer that. Um, hi, Emily Dickinson, when I was really young. Um, it's a secret. <laughs>